All right, episode five, uh, something about vipers. I already forgot the name of it, but uh, on the last episode, uh, we saw uh, we didn't see White Walker, which is strange because I mean, there was a picture. Now that I think about it, but a lot of shit's happened. Uh, left with the cliffhanger, Ramsay Snow was at the Forester uh, Castle or whatever the hell it's called, the Forester Lands. You know, talking to our sister. So it ended on a cliffhanger, and uh, let's see what we're gonna get into right now. What's Jazz up to nowadays? I don't know, working, playing basketball. What I see from him on Snapchat most of the time. You know, follow him follow him on Twitter. He'll he'll find out what he's up to. Same old, same old, pretty much. Uh, I would assume anyways. You know, playing Rocket League, playing GTA, that's what he does on Xbox most of the time. Maybe uh we'll play some Rocket League together one time on, on stream. That'd be kinda cool. I got the game and I, st I still haven't played it with like, an anybody at all, throne. which is weird. But anyways, here comes the previously on. So for those of you who missed it, I'll uh, shut up and let you You'd see what happened. You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. No! Oh. I'm uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. And that's where we left off in the last episode, guys. <laughs> you want to see Asher rewarded with pussy? That'd be nice, eh? But anyways, here we are. I was just telling your sister. This should be interesting. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Yeah, my mom. Just dies more quickly. <laughs> it's fine by me. <laughs> we could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. <laughs> He's such a despicable son of a bitch. I love him. You didn't tell me he lost his tongue at the twins along with the rest of his bits. I'd say he's in favor of it. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. All right, don't grab your sword. Oh, you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Very well. I'll leave it. It's not like it matters. Even if I have it, he's going to fuck me up. That was easy. There. So I get to find out who are the traitor <sighs> and a mist is. feel better? No surprises here. Oh, you're Watch coming too. Sure. This is Lord's business. Not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. All right. Well, I'm really interested, actually, to see what's going to happen here. Things are really picked up in this series. You know, episode one, two were okay. Episode three, was, my episode four was real good. So I'm really excited to see how uh, episode five is going to go. Uh, 
How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> oh, that, that's nice. Polite of you to ask. He is a psychopath. That's I why he was He is things. absolutely <laughs> insane. Still do. So many places. He's to probably hide. one of the best villains on any TV I've show in the history of mankind. Honestly. Roderick. It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. He's in the dungeon. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmore. Uh, the Glenmores are getting fucked up right now, aren't they? I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted right, this out. Die now? Thank you for being so forthcoming. No? No stabby stabs? But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Oh, look, it's the quiver, man. Roderick! You disobeyed me. Ooh. You disrespected me. Please, Someone has to pay. Ooh, quiver boy. It ain't gonna be me. You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna take Stop. its face off. Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Oh my God! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Poor Arthur. Roderick, make him stop. Please, do something. You pay for this, Ramsey. Probably Look the best idea to be threatening Talia. somebody when, you know, you're... When your ass is kicked. Oh, if she knows. See what your brother's done. Yeah, Aaron's Please. right. Pretty much the Joker, oh, but with a lot more sorry. skinning people. But they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to yes. Griff? This is his <laughs> I fault. did. I could have killed them. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <laughs> Ooh, punch in the stomach. Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Everyone wants to kill you. Release him. Oh boy, he's giving you the knife. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Kill me. <laughs> Try to. It didn't work. I'm impressed. Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. <laughs> I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a whole. Don't fart. come back. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing. Wins. Nice. I dig it. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. Don't worry about it, man. And one more thing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Can't 
can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Fucking hell. So there you go. That's Ramsey Snow, in case you haven't met him already. But anyways, you can support me here. Out, uh, under, if you're on Twitch right now, the description feed down below has a PayPal link. If you feel like uh, donating there, it'll pop up on the screen over this way. And it'll play a nice little, a nice little jingle. Highest donation has been twenty dollars from OMG with the fuck wall hacks. So if you feel like trying to beat that, or just donating any little amount that you have or feel like giving, feel free to do so because that'd be uh, make me very happy. Uh, of course, you could also do a subscription based kind of thing with patreoncom slash the call me where you could uh, give like a monthly donation of like say five dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever the hell you want to do. A thousand dollars, woo! No, uh, at patreoncom slash the call me and that would be uh, given to me every month and that'd be awesome. And of course, you could download a Tad app at. Um, you look up Tad on your phone, on your Google Play Store, or your iTunes Store, aka it's Tad, T-A-D, and you find Hero They Call Me on there, and then you watch some ads for me, and uh, you'll get pennies per ad, but uh, the more people that watch it weekly, and the more often you watch it, uh, the more money it uh, generates in total. So if you like doing that, it's the Tad app on your phone. Anyways. Back to the game, A Nest of Vipers, Episode 5. This is the second to last episode, if anyone is wondering. So Arthur is dead. He got fucked up. So I have no idea where my men went. Poor guy. He just wanted to help. And I let him down. Look at the corpse cart. They're going the wrong way. Pick up this. Pick up the pace. I'm sorry, Quiver. Quiver Arthurton the <laughs> Third. Uh, Arthur. Ah. Oh, there we go. Touch his head. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no dragons. You missed uh, well, Ramsey. Got after a guy, all though. We've been through. Must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? <laughs> Follow the Starks. The White Hills started this. Ramsey Snow may have held the knife, but they're the ones who sharpened it. Fuck the White Hills and fuck Ramsey too. I agree, man. The sooner we're rid of them all, the better for everyone. So do you guys think the traitor was? More guard are gone, ordered home by Ramsay. I think we found so out in this much episode. So. Allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument Ugh. from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to... Where is he? Where is oh, my Oh, he mother? dead, son. Don't let her see. Cover her eyes. Let me through! Elaine. You, you don't want to see this. Tell me where he... Oh, no. You don't want to see no. it. I told oh, you. No. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. Poor Arthur. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous. Of See, I think that, obviously they they wrote off Ramsey pretty pretty cleverly. Uh, cleverly is that even a word? Yeah, it is. Uh, and now in this, die. In this, like in this, this. Telltale Games game, Tortured. because obviously he's not going to die. Mutilated. 
Because you know, he's in the show. I could say. So they wouldn't kill him off. Easier. Is that meant to console me? Ramsey came here because of you. If we hadn't been your allies. Yeah, well, you were my allies, so. Elena. I'm sorry. Now it's just a battle between two families, which is interesting. Let's get you someplace, Wall. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? You know, everyone dies, man. Come on now. Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Yo, help her go to sleep. Give her the penis. That works for a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, jeez. Achievements. Just racking up the achievement score. Anyone has noticed this is a, a Night's Watch t-shirt, so. Ah, oh, there you are. Figured I'd keep it going. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you? Never mind. <laughs> They're still friends. Is it impossible for these two not to be friends in this? Mira, it's ridiculous. But then I'll again, she doesn't honest. know that I sold her out, so. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. Yes, Karen, I'm sure you're the best. You gave him good Pat reason. yourself on the back. <laughs> Just as you do everyone. Marjorie included. Which is why it's not safe for me to be Finally, she's anymore. finally learning. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with oh, you. Oh, no. Not Finally. Anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily <laughs> overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like oh, that. Oh, my God. But yet we continue to walk side by side. Is it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. Well, I know that to us. I know that for a fact. They'll be very grateful. I'd better go before she sees me. She will be. Forrester. Yeah, what's up? Can I help you? Can I help you? You need to come with me. Dude, that guy looks great, man. Are you sick? Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. All right, man. Let's go. What you staring at, girl? Don't give me those deaf glare. It's like Mean Girls this, when we when were over at uh, King's Landing. All right, let's get our army. Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezo Zaraza in my hands and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. Everything I do now, it's for my family. Oh yes, those wonderful people who exiled you. You once said I was all the family Yeah, and I lied. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me. <laughs> you need ice cream out of it. I was moment. hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. That'd be a lot of ice cream, man. I. 
Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Speaking of ice cream, after this, I'm probably going to grab myself some cookie dough ice cream. <laughs> Uncle, let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should I did deliver. do as I was told. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? <laughs> I knew, knew that would get under your skin, Karen. All the cookie dough ice cream. Your Grace. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? No, not really. Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. To the letter, if reports are true. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you so. <laughs> you told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling yeah. the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have yeah, my Yeah, well, I want your men, though. I don't want your gratitude. I want that booty, too. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second son. Wow, sons. bitch. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Yeah, thanks for uh, screwing us over. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? This is unbelievable. Watch it, Asher. I delivered my end of the deal. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty. Give me a dragon. <laughs> In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. <laughs> You said something about not leaving empty-handed. No, I I, 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 I ate those Pringles eventually, but just not at my place, at her place. <laughs> I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Gold? I don't want gold. That's a lot of gold, though. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters <laughs> baby dragon. among those That would have been awesome, eh? To be There's bound. a little baby dragon in there. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. <laughs> it's gonna look like more of a smug asshole smile right there. You, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer Yo, soon. Yo, if she sends me dragons, I'll let you go. <laughs> Just one. You have three. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. Uh. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to buy them all. How the heck are we supposed to get back to where we're getting we're from with free. an army? That's a better question. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. As long as they don't turn the sword on me, man. That's all that matters, right? Let's talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. 
If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. So some found out who uh, was the betrayer of the Forrester clan. And now we're back north of the wall with uh, Garrod. So let's see what's going on with him. So this girl like an albino or something? She doesn't have red eyes, so that kind of defeats the albino thing. I'm probably as close as an albino you can get. Look at how wet I am. <laughs> Don't have white hair, though, so that's a plus. Oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie. We're not She's going north. She's a secret north. Targaryen. <laughs> We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Oh, her eyes are purple. Tell That's me weird. Then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? By one of your fools. You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt he in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie. Don't Sylvie me. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got I out killed of hand. three of them. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly There's killed. Two other guys. Because <laughs> they were killed. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. If I don't see a White Walker, I'm assuming we will, because the they made the thing. The further north you go, but... the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. I want, I want to see Once a Cotter's giant army travel, of the dead. We head south, with or without you, Garrett. That's what I want to see. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. He lied. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. So who's still here, by the way? I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. I see Aaron she's your through sister. here. He's been talking. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. If you're if you're if you're so still here, it. say swear in the chat. I can't head Best north swear gets a a shout out. <laughs> I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What a little bitch. All right, I'm gonna go talk to her. I say I'll kill your brother if you don't if you don't come with me. Oh, a bunny! Whoa! Fucking hell! Could you have been any louder? Sorry. <laughs> Nignog, thanks, Nick. <laughs> oh God! Never met a crow before. Sorry, Clint I almost squiggle. Might have done you a favor, Why does the show make no Plenty sense? Things want to kill a Twizzle. crow up north. Big fucking donkey lip cunt bag. Wow. Giants, thens. Pretty good. Shadow cats, Pretty good. And ice spiders, <laughs> and the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't 
fucking hot dinner away. Yo, get that rabbit, man. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that. It's a bow and arrow. Can't be hard. You're not going to shoot me in the oh, leg, I never are know. you? I I'm never totally going to miss now. You know it, right? I'm definitely going to miss now that I said that. Oh, I got it. Boom. Well, you're right so far. Well done. You'll do nicely, little one. Karen's probably Will pissed off now that I killed the rabbit. <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? <laughs> we'll need another. Ugh. Come on. Doesn't take kindly to gay slurs, but Nick's able to write Nignog. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get another one? Now I'm gonna miss. Woo! There we go. Yes. Popping rabbits. Left, right, and center. May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the war. The feast. We eat, like but we won't potatoes. Starve. That's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone Jeez, like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever yep. again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. Yeah. So you know how it of feels. Course. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. You gotta take but me don't there, get girl. Your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to find need the forest within the forest, as it was called at one point, which makes no sense. A few years back. One of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Maybe they're living there. You ever think of that? Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Whoa, she's like glitched on the side of the screen. Sounds like uh, Cotter's about to die. Sticky Cotter! fingers. Sticky fingers. Sylvie! Harry! Get back! Oh, it's a White Walker. Bum, bum, ba! There you go, guys. It's funny, the second I talk about them, they pop up. This looks like the place. <laughs> Come this way, like, this is definitely good hygiene. the place. Because so you can't, you can't have bad hygiene when it's frozen everywhere, us. man. Sweat just Two freezes in, to you. One comes out, day after no stank day. in the coldness. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight well, for you. I got the money. You. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Besker. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just heads everywhere. There's a dog with a hand in his mouth. The hell? <sighs> oh, the Targaryen flag. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. This looks like a bird eating people over there. Did you see that? The zombie bird. You did what? Oh, man. 
Oh, he got stabbed. He's got. He, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. What the fuck? Trust me. You don't want to get involved, Asha. Hey guys, cool it with the uh, the N words. Thank you, please. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go up the stairs. Where's this guy up to? Okay, I guess we won't go up the stairs. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. That's a big dude. Or anyone who shows weakness. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. I'm gonna get tossed down the stairs. Ten bucks by this big dude. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came. Oh, I'm gonna take this I guy down. Punch you. him in the nose. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. You sure you have room for me? You seem pretty well fed already. <laughs> My master only ever fed me when I won. I won a lot. Now, you've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. Dang, I ain't afraid of you, Baldy Locks. One. Let's go, big boy. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! That's how you work with these dudes. That baldy sounds like an angle. That's what you're there for. Awesome. That's what you're there for. Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits where things could get really nasty. All right, let's uh, take a little dip in the pit. Why don't we, eh? I'd like to come through, please. Yeah, watch out. Thanks. Look at that guy schnoz. Oh, my goodness. That thing is big. All right, stepping through. Oh, they found a master. Sucks to be you, nerd. Oh, just got punched Randy Orton style. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's up, girl? Is this uh, the one we have to talk to? That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop Where it off. she good looking? She looked bald from here. Not really into bald chicks. No, she's bald. Not really into bald chicks, once again. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So. Out with it. Before I decide not I've to let with you an offer, leave. girl. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? <laughs> I had yeah, a okay, friend Karen. Once, the basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Ugh. Not a spit. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? Mm. <laughs> because you couldn't, probably. Would be my guess. <laughs> Little skinny guy. Yeah, yeah. My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. 
Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? Because I got money. We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich. Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. And now you're going to get gold for your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have all to right, earn throw me in the pit. First. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. Uh, they'll never see me bleed. You're gonna have to show them. Yo, give me the skinny fight. guy. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? Don't make me fight my girl, eh? Beshka. His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. All right, we'll see about that. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. <laughs> He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Well, I'll have to kill him. It'll be a shame to waste such a talented fighter. The guy looks Perhaps a bit fruity to me. No one has ever subdued him. Hmm. Right. All right, well... Well, and I go. Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little yeah, it looks axe, like Glenn. Your pretty blonde. With longer beard. hair from Walking Dead. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing. The <laughs> oh, I love on. Asher. Let's see how He's you awesome. die. If I die in there. Yeah. You have a dying wish. This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from here as possible. <laughs> All right. Hey! I need those! No, no you don't. You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Yo, can I get a stick? <laughs> Here, I was turning into Ray Rice. <laughs> Random vision is random, eh? See this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Yeah, well, good luck, bud. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over. Ooh. Choose a weapon and try not oh, to die. Oh, what am I going to choose? Only one of it's going to be like rock, paper, alive. scissors. I'm going to have to choose the right weapon. May the best fighter win. The best no, this is episode five. Here, use this. Uh, yo, that's a club. Totally using a club. I could have sworn I changed the name of the episode of episode five. Maybe I didn't. Ready your ears for the song of Maybe I don't need it. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm going to have to refuse. A club of spikes on it. It'll get much better than that. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. At least. All right, let's go. Let's go, man. Yeah, you got shit. I'm too quick for you. Now, yeah, kicking the chest. Well, batter you in. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You lost your weapon already. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? That's no weapon worthy of blood, son. All right, well, I guess I'll take this one then. You won't be so lucky this time. Oh, you want to bet? Hate to tell you, but that wasn't luck. Mr. Spearboy? Look at you. I could, you could, you could twirl a spear around. Are Luckily for me, this isn't some gay-ass dancing Rosie? Olympic sport. This <laughs> is gonna hurt. Ooh, right in the back. Yours would be a beautiful death. <laughs> Isn't that something you'd like to say? Let's clock this guy in the head boy. already. We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. Oh, sidesteps. Oh, there goes your spear. Now you just have a bow staff. Good luck killing me with that. Oh, man. Already. You get your ass kicked. For that, you die slow. And yeah, we'll see about that. Last chance, Westerosi. 
Look at this like a super knife puncher. Oh my god, he's got the sledgehammer. He's gonna be like freaking uh, Triple H here in a second. Sucks, don't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna die like this. Bye. Ooh, right across the face. Okay, there we go. Don't feel like being choked out today, thank you very much. Get off me. That's enough of that. I'm ready! Westerosi! Don't hold yeah, hit him with, Don't hit him with the speech and music. Look at this terrified boy! He fears his end! Spear! <laughs> Oh, he's got you in the freaking triangle choke. He's got you in the triangle choke. <laughs> That's a good. Nothing good about a triangle choke. He's trying to break your arm at the same time. That shit ain't gonna happen. I ain't going down like this. Sorry. Ooh, right in the leg. Oh, time to get buried. Get the thumbtacks. <laughs> Ooh, I missed. You're too slow, man. You're too slow. Uppercut! It's over for you, my friend. Seems uh, pretty knocked out to me. She wants me to kill him? For sport, we we just make sure they know who's in charge. <laughs> Brutes. <laughs> the masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. Your murderous scum. And murderous scum is just what I need. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Awesome speech. The hype boners are real. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I could use them in battle. Yeah, White Walker. I'm not going to beat a White Walker unless I have some sort of ebony sword. I knew them. What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! I'm going to rip his head off. You don't beat a White Walker unless you have fire or... Eb oh, ebony, I believe, is what the other thing is. I told you. They don't die. Luckily for me, they're slow. It's, it's all sin. Yo, bone knife. Right in the head. They ain't gonna kill her. Alright, get off me. Enough of that. She's choking the living crap out of me. Oh, chop off her head. Maybe that works. I've never seen anyone chop off a walker's head before. Help Sylvie! Yeah, man, I'll help your sister. Fuck! Why won't they die? We need fire! It's the only way! Well, that and ebony, but you know, you probably don't know that yet. Oh. Fucking hell! Yeah, I'll take the leg out. There you go, slow it down. Oh shit! It's the ginger bitch. Now grab, grab the stick. Oh boy, this isn't good. Right on the fire. Ah, that's got her. She's she's done skis. Well, that worked real quick. I thought it'd take a bit longer than that. 
<laughs> Here comes the Stumpy. What's up, Stumpy? Yeah, Dragon Glass is everything, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, there's a shit ton of them coming. Yeah, we should probably get moving. They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! Look, we need to stick together! Come on, you know what's right. We go to the North Grove. They're running. Run! Yeah, apparently they could run now. So I'd, I'd start to... I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Nothing creepier than running zombies. Don't want none of that. Oh shit. Your Grace. Good girl. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here Yeah, a couple before. times. You looked rather confused when you came in. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. However... I love Cersei. You're quite the curiosity. Cersei's li literally like Mira grown up. <laughs> you profess to be loyal to the The way we've been playing as her anyways. Yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? No. One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace. But I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yes, Yet what? Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? I just walked in. It can't have been easy. Yeah, I used a friend. I forced a friend Yo, to throw under me. the bus. <laughs> Is that right? Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? My family. It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. In this case, it isn't my When lie. I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing nope. of this. No, Your Grace. Why would I tell her? This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Cersei is impressed. Awesome. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl. And perhaps you can help sure. me. Sure. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all Yo, be grateful. trial girl. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. He's, he's smart. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. He's a smart little man. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. Work with the evil man. And that I works. doubt anyone will miss him. Uh, you know, Cersei, you know, she might be an evil little girl, evil little cunt, if you may. But uh, she's usually pretty loyal to the people that help her, so could be could work out for us. Or it couldn't. Let's see and find out. Ugh. I need a new chair, guys. You think we hired this boat for Big nothing? Time. No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. 
Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Ugh. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have. <sighs> what do you guys think will happen if I trust her? you think I'm going to get screwed? That you're my family. Or she'll actually help me. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Sounds good. You think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. I hired you to kill White Hills. Not to do as you please. <laughs> your war, your way. For now. I'll show them their best. That's not an army. That's five people. <laughs> Sup, boy? I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You humiliated me for all to see. Denied me of an honorable death. So I must find it in Westeros. Fair by me, man. Or fine by me. Fair by me doesn't make sense. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, <laughs> I'd like to help her reclaim awesome joke. the Iron Throne. Very good. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here hey, has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Yeah, man. How about fire and blood, Uncle? Isn't that what the Targaryens say? Casting off! Shots fired. <laughs> oh, that's already chapter five. This one's going by quick, eh? Jeez. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Fine by me. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Yo, please tell me I get to see the viper get his Let head popped by the mountain again. Your family is in grave danger. And you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I really must speak with you, Lord Tyrion. Clearly. You're here, aren't you? At least you brought wine. And you didn't even have to hide it. <laughs> there you go. Get drunk, son. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. I don't drink, man. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? Yes. They never let anyone in to see me. Whatever. I'll drink with them. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the north. Hmm. Some things are no, I gotta, worth I gotta dying for. Work this so Cersei helps me. So I'll, I'll say whatever I gotta say, do whatever I gotta do to help my family. We've been through this already. So, with Mira. why are you here? She'll do whatever she gotta do. It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. The Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. Sassy Tyrion. <laughs> this is all a ruse, isn't it? 
Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. Yep. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. Yeah, like, I could set you free. Get the hell out of here. So, so I'm trying to get me drunk, Tyrion. Cersei sent you, didn't she? That guard be listening to us. I told you. I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue. Yeah, what are we gonna girl. do about it? We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. <laughs> Imp. What did my sister expect you to do? I don't learn? know, man. Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. I'm the one using her. <laughs> if that's what you think, then you're more <laughs> foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled Fine by with. me, man. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? We're not sister? friends anymore. I doubt she'd be pleased. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although, I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei will be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. Please, Lord Tyrion. I beg of you, help me. The only help I can offer is a bit of advice. Stop lying to people. Become a better liar. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. All right, Out. well, we, uh... Now. I wish you well, Failed Mira. from that pretty, pretty damn hard. Be careful who you trust. Like, pretty damn hard. <laughs> I don't even know if you could actually get that properly or not. If it actually is possible to do it perfectly. Damn! I told you you'd help her sleep. What's she leave? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. Damn. Hey, <laughs> I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. Look at Roderick, man. Family's at war, still has time to bang. Alright, Dwizzle, take it easy, man. Thanks for coming by. What do we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. <laughs> You'll go home. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep time us apart. to go home. We're done here. Not Griff. <laughs> not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. <laughs> and we're busy making errors, yep. Pretty much. It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. She's just gonna leave without her clothes? Probably that's the best idea, just saying, you know? Or is she gonna get dressed? All right then, I'm listening. Last night I couldn't, I was having nightmares, so I- I had some milk of the poppy. 
I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. Uh-oh. Someone's a traitor. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. Those are close now, yeah. I couldn't believe it. You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Yeah, Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. It does matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Is. You have to deal with him like you would well, any I'll deal other with man. It. Doesn't matter who it is. I'm sure he had his reasons. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roger. Sure. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves <laughs> to die. John Cena. I'm asking yeah, oh, I'm gonna kill. Him. I don't sister. care who it is. I give my you my sentinel, word. Kill him. The other guy will kill him. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Watch her hall. be the traitor. <laughs> She's just playing me right now to kill my sentinel or some shit. He's so messed up. <laughs> be a clever girl, though. She's like, she's the bad guy in this whole thing. She's orchestrating it all. Her and Lord Whitehill actually have a thing going together. Hello? Who is it? Go get the guards. It's probably going to be my sentinel. But whatever. That looks like what's-his-face is closed. Hey, look at that. What a surprise. My lord, <laughs> you scared me half the time. guy I assumed would be a traitor to begin with. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. And what about Garrett? You sent him to the wall for this house. I sent him there because I had Keep to. Keep safe. Believe me, I didn't want so, yeah. to do it. I called it, yeah, so did I. Why did you do it at all? A little bitch. Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been in danger in this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he was So I assume it would be either him or the other guy. Ryan, despite the fact that his father still held Ryan, taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now... So I assume, depending Arthur on like the choices killed. you make between Archer, between Roland and, and Duncan... That's You're who not will leader. betray you, I would assume. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. Wow. <laughs> You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was yeah, okay. right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Oh, what a surprise. Someone helped him escape. Yeah, I wonder who. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. 
kill him. Strike him down. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with Though him, I could use him as a tactical thing. At the same time. Roderick, you promised. Kill me? And I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. Mm. Whatever you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my sake, then for your family. What do you guys think? Kill him or spare his life? Spare? Okay. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than oh, thanks, he is. thanks, Talia. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! How do you know Asher's coming? Take this traitor How away. How do you know that? Ugh. You'll let him rot in the dungeon. Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake. Mm. What Duncan said. We have to warn Ash. Yep. We can't, not if he's at sea. We we'll meet up at the the the. My the lord. Hall. What do we do? Take him out. Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Oh, he dropped the cane in the fireball. Uh, that's hype. <laughs> the blue flames. Uh, that's the hype of shit right there. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. <laughs> These idiots fighting each other. Come on, break it up. Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. Pipe bomb. <laughs> what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron? Fine by me. Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Alright, guys. Let's see what the fuck's gonna happen to us here. Ambush time. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. Probably. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? Of course not. Here we go, fight time. Big fight scene. So, this is a big tanky boy. Ugly. Look, at his, look at his belly and sway small. back and forth. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. And there he is, White Hill. Oh no, that's my White Hill, never mind. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. I brought you an army, brother. So much of an army. Once again, it's like Hope ten you're people. ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. This is gonna be fun. Looking forward to this. Who's that guy? What? Oh, he's running. Oh, 
Oh boy. That was clever. Get that gate open. <laughs> oh great. Oh look, it's Pirate McGee. How do they not see that coming? Like seriously. It's been a while since I killed any white hills. Guess you're gonna have to do first. Oh, there goes Pink. Oh god, yes, love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, Tank, watch out. Oh, steer through the heart, he's dead. Bye. Asha, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Oh, took it in the leg. This isn't good, guys. Asha! This isn't looking like a. Raise the gate. This isn't looking like a good time. Oh, shit. We have to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, 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 they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> I like how their plan was like the the, the way the, gate will fall the way his plans it. were to. One of us has to stay. Oh, I gotta pick between one of them. Ah, oh, shit, son. This is a tough choice. Asha, come on. Who stays behind? Don't you dare leave me, Asha. You must hurry. We cannot lose Roderick. you! Let me save your life. And our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I like Ash too much. <laughs> Poor Roderick. I'll hold them off. But my lord, you Asher can't! Asher is your new lord. Yes. My lord. Roderick! Sad face. Go. Take as many of them as you can with you! Let's go, boys. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. This is going out like a man. I love it. Roger Forrester, the man of all men. Stabbed in the back. Yeah, yeah, you're real tough. Fuck you. You too. Oh, I missed it. Oh, right in the throat. That's all right. That's all right. We got this. Yeah, you guys are real tough, eh? My heart, guys. I just made Asher ten times more angry though. He's gonna fucking rip through them, so it's all good. Alright. So that was probably one of the tougher decisions I made, because I like both of those guys. Unit thirty six point six tried to stab Ramsey Snow. Unit sixty one point five spared Blood Song. Unit sixty three percent did not tell Tyrion that Cersei sent you. UN 42% chose to imprison the traitor, and UN 60% had Roderick stay behind. So uh, a lot more people like Asher, apparently. Ooh, all right. <laughs> yeah, the bitch is going to be real sad, isn't she? All right, guys, so that's the end of uh, episode, what was that, episode six, right? Or was it episode five? It was episode five of... Uh, Telltale Games Game of Thrones episode 6 will be next, but that will also be on the next stream, guys. I think uh, this is a good time to end it. So for those of you watching on YouTubes, you can support me at patreon.com slash the call me, which is like a monthly donation thing. You can do like $5 or whatever you feel like donating per month. Uh, it's patreon.com slash the call me, or you can download the Tad app and watch uh, Tad ads. Uh, it's go to Google Play Store or your iTunes Store and look up TAD, Tad. Uh, look for here to call me and watch ads on that. Or, of course, if you're watching on Twitch right now, you can support via PayPal um, on the Twitch description where the PayPal thing is, and it'll pop up on the screen, all that good stuff. But um, for those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, and I'll